Hello everyone, hope you all are fine. As CBSC is celebrating September month as National Nutrition Month. So here we are to make you all aware about nutrition. So first of all, let's see what is nutrition and why is it important? So nutrition means intake of food and its utilization. That means what kind of food do we take and how our body utilizes it so that is known as nutrition and why is it important as because from nutrition only our body gets strength our body develops our body get protection from diseases so due to all these reasons nutrition is very very important for our body so we all know that nutrition is directly related to food so for that we need to know what types of food are there so basically food are categorized into two types one is calorigenic food the other one is protective food now calorigenic food means those kind of food which provide calories to our body that means these foods they provide energy to our body and protective food means those kind of food which protect our body from diseases so here we will deal with calorigenic food Calorigenic food are divided into three types carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. So, first of all, we'll see carbohydrates. Now, carbohydrates are known as energy giving food because these provide energy to our body. Especially children, they, they do a lot of activities during the day. So, that is why their body needs a high amount of energy. So, they should take a good amount of carbohydrates. Now, what are the sources of carbohydrates? Wheat, rice, bread, apple, banana. So, these food items, they come under carbohydrates. Next type of calorigenic foods are proteins. Now, proteins are known as bodybuilding food because they build up our muscles, especially in children because they are in the growing age. So, that is why their body needs a lot of protein for the proper growth and development of their body. So, that is why proteins are known as bodybuilding food. Now, what are the sources of protein? Fish, meat, milk, milk products eggs pulses beans these all food comes under proteins then third category of calorigenic food is fats now fats are actually instant energy giver because they gives energy very quickly so that is why fats are also required by our body especially children now what are the sources of fats oil ghee butter meat fatty fish these kind of foods they are actually the sources of fats so carbohydrate proteins and fats these foods they includes the calorigenic food and they are required for the body because of energy because these foods provide us with energy and they build up our muscles okay thank you body protective food such as vitamins minerals and water has important role in our body body protective food such as vitamins and minerals we get directly from the fresh fruits and green vegetables the cumulative functions of the vitamins and minerals are as number one general body growth and maintain proper body structure number two proper vein functioning and the muscle functioning number three maintain proper nerve functioning number four develop immune system and boost our immune development number five develop the cardiac functioning number six that is hemoglobin formation with help of iron and carry oxygen and co2 number seven help to develop healthy teeth and skin hair and eyesight number eight help in blood clotting number nine act as a antioxidant and number ten it is prevent many diseases such as anemia and goiter anemia it can be cause the low deficiency of iron in the human body and goiter it can be cause only the deficiency of iodine Water 
as a such a important role in our body as we take minimum 2.5 liter of water every day regular basis in our body as it regulate the temperature of body maintain the ph balance in the blood protect the body organs tissue and cells from the dryness number 4 help in the digestion and metabolism and number 5 prevent constipation and number 6 help dissolving many minerals and other nutrient directly in the water so if we take every day minimum 2.5 liter water or maximum 5 liter water in our body then our body will be hydrated and it also an important function to wash out the wastage material directly from the body malnutrition is a serious condition that happens either due to the deficiency of one or more nutrients or due to the excess of nutrients if it is caused by the deficiency of nutrients then it is called undernutrition and if it is caused by consumption of excessive amount of nutrients then it is called overnutrition few symptoms are there which we can observe in case of malnutrition means by observing few symptoms we can understand that is malnutrition like lack of growth that is low body weight slow development tiredness anxiety depression apart from this other psychological disorders or the changes in behaviors also can be observed now we need to know the causes of this malnutrition one of the most important cause of this malnutrition is poverty and for this most of the times it is seen that enough amount of food is not available sometimes it also can be seen that there is any difficulty in eating digestive disorder can also be one of the most important cause behind this malnutrition in that case maybe the child is eating properly maybe he or she is consuming all the nutrients but the nutrients are not getting absorbed in stomach properly apart from this reasons lack of educations lack of awareness lack of primary health infrastructure are also there behind this malnutrition next is that what are the effects of this malnutrition few diseases are there that can be happened for this malnutrition like kwashiorkor in this disease the skin of the child becomes scaly and full of cracks hair becomes red the child becomes very weak and prone to infections the stomach of the child becomes swollen and the child becomes irritated also another disease also can be happened among the children that is marasmus in this disease the children become very thin the bones can be seen from the outside ribs become very much prominent growth stops completely the child cannot move also properly and the weight of that child also becomes very less apart from this other diseases also can be happened like anemia and this anemia is very common among the girls now it is obesity is also another well known disease that also can be caused by this malnutrition apart from this diseases many more diseases also can be happened for the deficiency of vitamins and minerals and that particular diseases also can be the effects of this malnutrition already we have come to know about the importance of all the nutrients of food items now we will see what 
type of food we should take in a whole day for our healthy diet this is a simple diet chart that we can follow now if we are taking the total diet as 100% 100% it will be balanced when fruits and vegetable will be for 40% protein and carbohydrates will be 25% each and fats will be 10% now coming to daily diet chart at the morning time as breakfast we can take veg dalia curd idli oats or upma poached or boiled egg with bread or bread butter suji etc anything we can take and another thing is very important we should take at least one glass of milk every day next in lunch we can take rice dal all types of vegetables variety kind of vegetable card for protein we can take fish meat egg any of the three or if we are veg we can take paneer ghee soybean kind of thing which are full of proteins etc now at the evening time as our tiffin or snacks we can take any kind of soup if we are having veg soup then veg if we are having non veg soup then non veg spinach stew puffed rice or uh, soybean recipe any kind of soybean recipe this kind of a little bit thing we can take and at the dinner time again we can take oats or dalia and uh, normally we used to take uh, normal tawa roti or wheat roti some kind of vegetables with the roti salad etc we can take as our dinner besides all of this water is a very important part of our diet plan and another thing is we know fruits are also important we should take at least one or two seasonal fruits or apple any uh, any one food fruit we definitely we have to take in our daily diet chart we can take apple or banana or papaya or anything any fruit we should take another thing for children uh, some nuts or almond or dates that kind of dry fruits are also very much important for them from all these we can conclude that a good healthy diet plan can make our children healthy and immune good morning to everyone today i am here to discuss on nutrition and mental health while celebrating national nutrition month so as we are discussing about the importance of nutrition in our daily life it is also inevitable to discuss about the impact of nutrition on our mental health many of us are well aware of the benefits that eating a balanced diet has on our physical health but do you know how it benefits our mental health think about it your brain it is always on it takes care of your thoughts your movements your breathing your heartbeat it works even when you are asleep this means that your brain requires a constant supply of fuel and that fuel comes from the food that you eat so what you eat affects the function of your brain and ultimately your mood more and more researches are being conducted which shows the impact the food has on both our overall mental wellness as well as specific mental illnesses like depression anxiety so we will now take a closer look at how food and mood are related and what role our gut health has and how maintaining a proper nutrition plan can support in this so what is the actual link 
between the food and mood. Eating a diet that is well rounded and nutrient rich can help to improve your mood, increase your energy levels and also help you to think clearer. There are several elements which work together here from the number of carbohydrates that you eat to the way deficiencies in vitamins and minerals affect mental health. Now carbohydrates, in order for your brain to be able to concentrate and focus it needs energy and 20% of this energy needed by your body is used by the brain. Now this energy comes from blood glucose and this glucose in your blood comes from the carbohydrates that you eat. When we don't have enough energy for the brain, we can feel weak, tired and unable to think clearly. So ensuring that you eat regular meals containing some carbohydrate will help with this. Alongside starchy foods like pasta and rice, sources of carbohydrates include whole grains, fruits, vegetables, legumes, etc. Now proteins and fats. Alongside the energy that you get from carbohydrate, your brain also needs amino acids to help regulate your thought and feeling. As protein contain amino acid, it is important to get enough of this in your diet. Now protein is found in meat, fish, eggs, nuts, seeds, cheese, soya products, legumes. Now some people may be under the impression that all fat is bad for us, but that isn't the case. Fatty acids such as uh, omega-3, omega-6, they are essential for your brain to function well and they can be found in nuts, seeds, oily fish, poultry, avocados, dairy products and eggs. Now vitamins and minerals. When we don't get enough of certain vitamins and minerals, both our physical and mental health can suffer. Now the best way to ensure that you are getting enough of the vitamins and minerals, you need to eat a variety and a balanced diet which is rich in fruit and vegetables. Now iron, a mineral deficiencies can as well affect your mood. So iron, a lack of iron can lead you to feel weak, tired and lethargic. So foods rich in iron include red meat, poultry, fish, beans, pulses and fortified cereals. Then vitamin B, not getting enough of vitamin B can as well make you feel low, tired and irritable. So animal protein foods such as meat, fish, egg, dairy and the fortified cereals are rich in vitamins. Folate, now when you don't get enough folate, you will be at a higher risk of feeling depressed. So what can you eat? You can try the green vegetables, citrus fruits. Uh, beans etc now a helpful way to make sure that your diet is nutrient rich is to ensure that you are getting at least five portions of fruits and vegetables every day hydration we cannot forget about hydration drinking water hydration and nutrition go hand in hand so we discussed lot of things about the food that is suitable for us along with a proper balanced diet and having a nutrient rich food you also can take care of your mental health additionally by taking proper rest and maintaining a good exercise habit which will help you to be fit and fine physically as well as emotionally thank you everyone